push it out and away we go. Out to Lalia Fano, he's found a hole and he's pushing deep into the 22, he's great pass. First try to your man, Eddie Stubbs. That's exactly right, he'll put it uh, right down under the posts and they like that on the other side of the ground. But look at that, that was a good play from the line out there, Dave. Christian Liliafano making the break and uh, Ed Stubbs, there he was on his left shoulder. He just popped it up and round he goes for uh, a five-pointer under the posts. Liliafano looks like he's got mountains of time to do what he was doing out there. He was able to get through that gap and draw the defender before getting that beautiful pass off to Stubbs for the try. Okay, so the uh, Tui scoreboard reading... With just uh, four minutes gone, the Vikings five, Queen Bee nil. <laughs> okay, so uh, Christian Liliafano shapes up, he approaches the ball, he has hit it out to the left, and uh, look at that, it's straight through. Done very well. Six points for Christian, uh, Viking leads, ten points to nil. So it's with Mokutupu, on to Tuhuia, out to uh, Liliafano. Oh, he just hit past there. It looks like the chainsaw. He's fired it up, a two stroke. He's popping inside for number 12. But they brought him down right on the uh, 22, Dave, and uh, goodness gracious, Jamie Marmont away. Oh, they loved it over there. Oh, there's this miss flying. one, three, on one. Oh, they're all fired up. They the are indeed. Drop speed hookers are always a good battle. And it's on the far side of the ground as well. They're uh, right in front of the Tuggeranon crowd. Gee, I tell you what, Siani Tayula. I don't think I've seen him run as fast all day. all day. The big number one, he sprinted over 25 metres or so, and he let go with a big right hand. He was looking pretty puffed after the 20 minute mark, but he certainly found his second win to get involved in there. Go! Go! You two, I don't know what started it, but obviously you don't want to play our game. You'll both have 10 minutes for fighting and throwing punches. For punching, two reps. One red. They're just having words to each other as they uh, trundle off together. Not your fight. You ran from a distance and threw punches. That's not acceptable. You threw punches. It's not acceptable. Third man in. Captain. We dealt with those two. He came in and threw punches and laid a few on him, and he got it, and he connected. You two need to get your plate together right now. There will be no more rubbish. That is it's unacceptable behaviour. Have a captain. Oh, kicking their own uh, try line area, dead ball area, out in the 22, taken on the full by the chainsaw, skipping and jumping. And away they go, they love it over at uh, the Queanbeyan area of the ground as well. The chainsaws, as soon as he touches the ball, they go up, all three of them. Oh, mate, there's itchy trigger fingers over there on those <laughs> chainsaws, I think. I hope they bought plenty of fuel with them now. It's away. Oh, Robert with the Coleman whites. inside, quick pass to the number 15, Josh, Josh Hastings. Hastings he's, good. he's in. Drags two people over for the try. Well, the number 15, uh, Josh Hastings, he's taken that nice and deep. He's uh, burst through the first line of defence, and once he had eyes for the try line, he was through. He's put that down just to the left-hand side of the try line, right in front of all the Queanbeyan supporters, and they love it. Oh, that's, a, that's the end you want to score on, certainly. The, uh, the, the Queanbeyan whites and pinks up the end there have just been going nuts on the drums and the chainsaws, and that was probably just rewards for the extra players that they've got. So John Kevin has uh, a reasonably easy kick to add the extras. Short ball from Lalia Fano to Stubbs. Uh, and it looks like he hasn't let go again, holding on to the ball. So Queenbeam with it now. Of course, in the excitement, and uh, well, it was only 45 seconds or so ago at the base of the scrum, we said that uh, Tuggeranong were in the uh, attacking position. There was a turnover of play, and uh, he's done that a couple of times. Josh Hastings, the uh, the Queanbeyan captain, leading by example, and uh, it almost looked as though he turned around. He saw Jamie Marmont, didn't want to pass it to him because he has dropped a couple today. He gave it off to him. Marmont, uh, well, he pinned the ears back, and he went straight for the posts. They love it over there. The chainsaws went up, and uh, the Vikings crowd on that side of the ground. They've been giving it to him all afternoon, and there's a stony silence. There is a very stony silence on the wall over there, the stone wall over there. Mokatupu looking both ways, it'll come to the open side of the field, it's with Tahuia. he puts it onto the boot and uh, pushes it well down into the 22, 
Jamie Marmont collects the ball. Oh, and he's been smothered with that kick. It's play on. Looks like Eddie Stubbs is going over for his second try of the charge down. Well, that was fantastic play. Good vision from uh, the number 10, Jeremy Tahuya. He put it uh, through down deep into the 22. Jamie Marmont shaped a kick and uh, he did get it onto the boot, but it was charged down to Ed Stubbs, uh, jolly on the spot, and uh, he raced through and won the race, got there, and uh, away we go for another five-pointer. He's certainly done everything today, Ed Stubbs. He scored two tries, had a, ten minutes in the sin bin, and, uh, yeah, that was a wonderful effort from him. Another penalty, an almost identical spot as a few seconds ago. Big second row on number four, Matty Hurst, powers ahead, plays the ball back. Stand out through the gap, step, step. And crosses. The Whites are back in the hunt, my man. Well, they certainly are, and they went towards uh, the open side of the field here. There was a huge amount of space for them to run into, and uh, well, Stannard saw that. He came through, took the ball, put on a beautiful step, and he's gone over pretty much under the uh, posts, or just to the right of them anyway, and that will be an easy kick, you would suggest, and will take the extras. Yeah, speaking guard at the back of the ruck there while uh, the halfback for Vikings gets back into position. Okay, they Deep one, in. drop goal. Lalia Fano. He's done it, he's kicked it. He's kicked it. It's about a 25 metre job. Well, I tell you what, uh, Christian Liliafano shaped to do that a couple of minutes or so ago. The defence was up on him very, very quickly, so he went for that little jink and run. Um, he has kicked that with three minutes 40 to go. We now have the Quimian Whites 21 and the Vikings 23. Here we go with Liliafano once again. He's starting to carve some holes now. He's starting to target those uh, tired big men. You're absolutely right. He's just uh, run around oh. behind them. Mokotuku. Whites have got the ball heading into the Tuggerung Vikings 22. Okay, trouble out here on the right-hand side. There's numbers for the Whites. Coleman. That's a good old, good old sees the gap. And he's over. Number 13 for Queenbeer, Josh Goodall. Well, he's managed to get over after 10 minutes in the bin. He's, uh, he's basically, he's almost won the game for them, I think. The crowd at the uh, northern end of the ground are going absolutely berserk as the chainsaws are up, but you can't hear them above the cheering. The crowd is absolutely going to be around. It's going to be a massive night if they can pull this off over the Royal Hotel tonight. Well, that all came from uh, Beaumont Katupu. He, uh, he, he put the ball up. It was charged down. Queenbeam went forward on the far side of the field. They had numbers out to the right. They saw that. They threw it. Those extra numbers, I think, stretched them. Stretch the defence and the holes started to appear. Two and a bit minutes to go. Conversion to come to take it to 28 23. It's going to be a barnstorming few minutes to finish, I think. Well, there is little doubt Tuggeranong uh, will have to come out absolutely firing. Oh, John Kevin slid it through. Takes the Queanbeyan Whites to 28, Vikings 23. Off to the left, halfback comes in. It's the ball across the face out to Ed Stubb, straightens up. He hits that line so hard, he's done it all year. He made good metres there, good metres. So, the Vikings... Oh, playing advantage to the, to the Vikings. The referee. Oh, oh, a little chip He's managed to get it. It is. It's Tim Curran. Tim Curran. He's managed to get the ball off the shoulder, I think, off a bounce, and he's gone over for the try. Well, that was a speculator because referee Bowden was playing the advantage. He's put it through, and uh, you're absolutely right. Tim Curran has taken one off the shoulders of one of the Queenie Whites, and look at that. It is after time. OK, well, the Whites will run at this ball. It's not going to do them any good as Christian Liliafano, he sends he it. He slots it over. The referee blows full time. And the Tuggeranong Vikings have managed to win the John Iden Cup for 2009. Well, that is an absolute fantastic turnaround in form. As you mentioned, Dave, 28 to 30. The crowd runs onto the field and there is jubilation. Mate, this club has been hoping for it today. They've had a massive contingency and representation on Grand Final Day. It's going to party a long, long way into the night here in Arizona.